Hello, today is Monday, May 22nd. My name is Elton, and also with me today are Ava, Scarlett, and Kaylee. We're your news team for KDWW. First, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. Here are some announcements from Miss Stefan. On Tuesday, it's a it's book giveaway day. Your teacher will have signed up for a time for your class to come down to the media center and pick out two free books that you get to keep. On Wednesday, it's moving on up day. This is when students get to experience their next year's grade level. You might wonder what it means for fifth graders. No, they don't try out for sixth grade. They go back to kindergarten. This event takes place on uh, 2 through 2.30 p.m. On Friday, it's field day. Three, four, and five will have field, grades three, four, and five will have field day from 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. Grades K, one, and two will have their field day from 12.45 to 2.45 p.m. Cross your fingers for good weather and we hope you have lots of fun. Finally, student device return begins this week. Fifth graders, your Chromebooks, chargers, and cases need to stay at school. Don't take them home at night. For everyone else, if you have any Westwood devices or chargers at home from your inclement weather days, bring them to school to turn them in. Same with library books. Bring them back. That's all for the announcements. Now it's time for the lunch menu. For the lunch menu this week, Monday will be chicken on a patty on a bun, potato smileys, smiles, and steamed broccoli. On Tuesday, we'll have tangerine or sriracha honey chicken, parmesan edam, and edamame and chocolate chip cookie. Before we get to the rest of the menu, Ms. Stewart has the following message for students and staff. This menu is definitely subject to available qualities. Turkey sandwich will still be available every day. Please let your students know we are emptying out, emptying our freezer and we may want out of their choice. We will try to have another option available to them. So. For Wednesday, the plan is to have chicken or cheese quesadilla with black beans. On Thursday, look for a burger on or a cheeseburger with dark green salad. And for Friday, we'll have pizza with steamed carrots. I'm pretty excited about Friday's lunch. Well, I usually I usually have home lunch, so I don't think I'm gonna have lunch this week, like like school lunch. But yeah, I don't know. I'm excited for my lunch. <laughs> Um, uh, I like Tuesday's lunch. I like that. It's really, it's really yummy, yeah, I think. Yeah, I honestly don't know what I want. <laughs> well, now it's time for the weather. Did you notice the orange sun is in the middle of the last week? That was because of the smoke from wildfires in Canada. Why does the sun turn orange? According to NASA, the smoke particles come from the fire's low sunlight's longer wavelength, colors like red and orange, to get through while blocking the shorter wavelengths of yellow, blue, and green. This week, look for summer-like warmth. Highs will mostly will be mostly around 80 degrees. It may feel a bit humid. There is a chance for rain or storms later in the week. Thank you, Alton. It's time to check on our top stories. Let's take a look. I'm Scarlett from KDWW. And Hi, Scarlett. Is... How are you? I'm good. Um, are you excited to get new kindergartners in the school? 
Absolutely. That's always a fun thing when we see the new kids come in, get to know the school a bit. That's always exciting. Um, are you excited that the fifth graders are graduating and going into sixth grade? Well, I will be sorry to see them go because it was a great fifth grade class. Don't you think, Scarlett? Yeah. Uh, but of course we will miss them. But I do hope they come back and visit sometimes and say hi for sure. Are you excited that the, um, do you think the kids, like the students are excited to move up to either kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, or fifth grade? Yeah, I think kids are excited to think about, well, a couple things. I think people are excited for the end of the year, which is normal, right? Summer's coming. And then they're also excited, maybe even a little anxious about who they'll have for next year. And uh, we don't know, uh, we don't share out who has uh, who for next year because we're still figuring that out. However, we do have our moving on up day coming up. Do you want me to tell you a little bit about that? Sure. Well, you might remember this from previous years, but our kindergartners go to first, first go to second, second go to third, third go to fourth, fourth go to fifth, and fifth go to kindergarten. <laughs> kindergarten. And they get to go back and help out and do some fun things in kindergarten. And during the moving on up day, it's, it's pretty short, 20, 30 minutes. Um, the grade level talks a little bit about what they can, what kids can look forward to the next year in the grade that they're moving up. And that kind of makes, I hope, kids feel a little bit more comfortable about moving up to the next grade because they get to know a little bit about the grade, a little bit about the teachers, and uh, look forward to that as they go into the summer. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ava, and I'm part of the KDW no View News team. And today I'm here with Adrian. Uh, we are interviewing her to, for Moving On Up Day. Uh, what class do you hope you're going to be in? Miss Myers. Uh, what uh, do you hope that you're going to learn? To, to learn how to write cursive. Uh, are you going to miss second grade? Yes. What is the thing that you're going to miss most of? My teacher. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kaylee from KDWW, and with me is... Samir. What are you most excited for K for fifth grade? Probably getting lockers. What do you le most like in fourth grade? Um, quiet time. What are you going to miss most about fourth grade? My desk. What do you think you're going to like in fifth grade the most? Math. Hi, I'm Scarlett from KDWW, and here with me is... Marlo. And what grade are you in, Marlo? First. Are you excited for moving on up to? Yes. What grade are you moving up to? Second. Are you... Uh, do you think it's going to be harder or easier? I harder. Guess, harder. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't be easier. That would be kindergarten. Um, do you think it's, are they, like, nervous or excited? Excited. That's good. Are you... Like, do you think it's going to be really hard or just, like, a little hard? A little hard. A little hard? Okay, that's good. We don't want it to be too hard. Hi, I'm Kaylee from KDWW, and with me is... Cora. What are you most excited for first grade? Um... I'm sort of excited to do new things in different places that we went all in time in kindergarten. Who do you think your teacher's going to be? Um, not sure. What do you think you most like in kindergarten? Um, I think I like doing hula hats like I was just doing in the gym. Hello, my name is Ava, and today I'm here with Lucas. Uh, we are interviewing him for Moving On Up Day. Uh, what class do you hope you're going to be in? Mm, I don't know. Uh, so what is going to be the uh, thing that you're going to miss about being in third grade? Um, the first day of school because I'll be at Disney World. <laughs> well, uh, what th do you... Are you gonna hope you're gonna learn in fourth grade? I hope I get to do long division. Uh, what do you uh, keep learning in s third grade? Um, we're, right now we're doing reviewing like all the stuff that we've been doing in math. So that's all for today. Bye. Next up is our answer to last day's trivia question. The question was, which book is the most favorited in the media center?
Uh, I, I don't know. Dogman Mothering Hex. I think it's. I think it's either going to be Dogman Dog or, or any... maybe Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Yeah. Probably Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Or yeah. Not, or, yeah. Or any of the new uh, cat, cat kid comic books. Yeah. Diary Dari- of a Wimpy Kid 17. Diaper overload has been checked out for the most, 93 times this year. The second place is Dogman number 10, Mothering Heights, checked out 68 times this year. In third place is Diary of a Wimpy Kid number 13, The Meltdown, which has been checked out 45 times this year. Wildcats definitely love their Diary of a Wimpy Kid books. Now let's hear the new trivia question and our joke of the week. Hello, I'm Alton, and I'm from the KGWW News Team, and today with me is... Isaac. And he's going to be telling us the joke of the week. What did the llama say when it was told to leave the village? I don't know. What did it say? I'll pack up my bags. Wah, wah! <laughs> Hi, I'm Scarlett from KGWW, and here with me is... James. And he's going to be asking us the trivia question. What teacher has the most pets? That's all for this edition of KDWW. Thank you for watching, and we hope you have a great week. And also, remember to do things the wildcat way. Bye! Here is some Wait. ASMR. Two hours later.